morning, friends. Wednesday, April 8th. How are you? I hope that you all made it through the storm last night okay with maybe just a few tree branches down. We had the crazy wind come through and then my phone said to prepare for a tornado warning. So we all went to our safety spot. Well, guess who lives at our safety spot? Jackson lives at our safety spot. So he was thrilled to have us all barge down there and sit on the couch. And Mr. Zigray very quickly said, no, no, it's south of us. And he went back to bed and then. It was very hard to sleep. But the, the one disadvantage to uh, being on the upper floor yes. is that you hear all of it. And I felt, and like, I, it was like midnight and I'm like, are there leaks in the house? I but know. it was just Dylan's like. in a loft, so he's the highest. But it was just house. like what sounded like leaks, like water dripping was the hail hitting the glass. The yeah. Yes, it was something. It was... So I hope that you're all okay and that at, at worst you have maybe some branches in your yard. So we have, it's jelly bean day. Welcome. So we're going to do some fun jelly bean activities and then we're going to get to the book. Okay, but first. Let's check out our plants. Plant cam. See if you can figure out which one's Dylan's. You know, the one that Jackson was making fun of at the beginning, Correct. I'm winning. And it's so funny because I sabotaged both of them yeah. and threw extra seeds into both. Jackson's is like, nope. And his, for some reason, it's growing, but boy, yours is really. Those are green. The leaves yours are very is really green. Going. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So mine is winning, just Yours long story short. For okay. right now. Okay, so here's our first jelly bean activity. These are gonna be quick. Do you remember we did the M&M activity last week? With the M&Ms on the plate, you added water, you let it sit, and then the pattern came on the plate. Do you like jelly beans, Mother? I do like jelly beans, not a lot. Ooh, that'll be a lot of red in the room. <laughs> Hold on. I was only, we, when we used to go to like that candy store as a kid, uh, Susan L. Chocolates, I used to only eat the popcorn ones, but I that recall. was a stretch because they I weren't, they didn't taste like popcorn. These are good ones. Um, hold on, I'm trying to get some semblance of pretty, I know. You're doing great. Sorry. Okay, are we all touching each other? Sash I was just going to say social distancing. <laughs> on our jelly beans. Okay, let's throw another red over here. Okay. Maybe a white in there. Okay, so let's add water. And then let's work on our next one while that does its magic. Okay. Step number two or activity number two for fun jelly bean jay. Jelly bean jay. All right. We're all a little tired. <laughs> Pull your cups. Put some water in the cups. You'll notice my St. Jude 75th anniversary cups. Hashtag reppin'. I have three for some reason. So if there's a fourth one kicking around there, <laughs> throw it in my mailbox if you don't mind. I, just, I have three, which is kind of odd. Um, so Mrs. Cuevas, if you're watching... Send another little cup my way. Okay. If you put jelly beans in here, and if you wait 15 minutes, yeah, that's right. This is what happens. So they're going to lose all their color. The water will change color, and then you will see that the jelly bean itself will be white. Well, that's nifty. It is nifty. Yeah, that's nifty. nifty. All right, Dylan, just do a little thing on our plate here. And then you see how it's doing the pattern. So just like the M&M's, same idea. Put your jelly beans on a plate, put some water in the middle, and then just wait, and it'll do a pretty little pattern. Okay. Activity number three. You guys have probably seen this, um, the jelly bean prayer where each color jelly bean stands for something else. So we're gonna do that together. Jelly bean prayer. Red is for the blood he gave. Green is for the grass he made. Yellow is for the sun so bright. Orange is for the edge of night. Black is for the sins we made. White 
is for the grace he gave. Purple is for his hour of sorrow. Pink is for our new tomorrow. A bag full of jelly beans is yummy to eat. It's a picture, a promise, a special treat. To help us remember Jesus' work complete gives us hope beyond any earthly sweet. So I thought that was nice. All right, one last <clears throat> plate pick there, Dylan, and then it's time for... Plate pick. Oh, not yet. Not to the book yet, Dylan. Don't rush me, Dylan. You just Man. said... All right. So we are taking an Easter break as a Zigray family, so there will be no more new videos until April 20th. We will miss you. Catch up on any if you haven't seen any. If you have an idea that you maybe think would be fun for this beginning part, send it my way. We'd be thrilled to try to kind of put it in rotation. Um, so nothing new until April 20th. Until then, it will be Lucy's birthday over break. So Lucy, happy birthday. Can we so sing happy birthday? Can we sing happy birthday? I wasn't going to. Oh, let's sing it, Mom. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lucy. Happy birthday to you. Okay. All right. Um, stay tuned for the book. All right. Welcome back. We are finishing up chapter five. This is our last chapter in this book today. And then I will preview the book that we're going to read on April 20th. Roxy has joined us, but she, she smells has. like nature. She does. She was outside. All right. So you'll remember... Ah, uh, Stanley was sad that he was flat. He'd had enough of it, and Arthur had an idea. So I wonder what the <clears throat> idea is. <laughs> Jelly beans in my throat. Okay. <laughs> Arthur flung aside a football and some lead soldiers and airplane models and lots of wooden blocks, and then he said, aha. He had found what he wanted, an old bicycle pump. He held it up, and Stanley and he looked at each other. Okay, Stanley said at last, but take it easy. He put the end of the long pump hose in his mouth and clamped his lips tightly about it so that no air could escape. I'll go slowly, Arthur said. If it hurts or anything, wiggle your hand at me. He began to pump. At first, nothing happened except that Stanley's cheeks bulged a bit. Arthur watched his hand, but then there was no wiggle signal, so he pumped on. Then suddenly, Stanley's top health began to swell. It's working, it's working, shouted Arthur, pumping away. Stanley spread his arms so that the air could get around inside him more easily. He got bigger and bigger. The buttons of his pajama top burst off. Pop, pop, pop. A moment more and he was all rounded out. Head and body, arms and legs, but not his right foot. That foot stayed flat. Arthur stopped pumping. It's like trying to do the very last bit of those long balloons, he said. Maybe a shake would help. All right, here's the picture of him getting blown up. Stanley shook his right foot twice, and with a little whooshing sound, it swelled out to match the left one. There stood Stanley Lambchop as he used to be, as if he had never been flat at all. Thank you, Arthur, Stanley said. Thank you very much. The brothers were shaking hands when Mr. Lambchop strode into the room with Mrs. Lambchop right behind him. We heard you, said Mrs. Lambchop. Up and talking when you ought to be asleep, eh? Shame on. George, said Mrs. Lambchop. Stanley's round again. You're right, said Mr. Lambchop. Good for you, Stanley. I'm the one who did it, Arthur said. I blew him up. Everyone was terribly excited and happy, of course. Mrs. Lambchop made hot chocolate to celebrate the occasion and several toasts were drunk to Arthur for his cleverness. When the party was over, Mr. and Mrs. Lambchop tucked the boys back into their beds and kissed them, and then they turned out the light. Good night, they said. Good night, said Stanley and Arthur. All right, here's that picture, and then there's just a little bit more. They're having their hot cocoa and cookies. It had been a very long and tiring day. Very soon, all the lamb chops were asleep. The end. All right. Well, that was a fun little break. There's a few more fat, flat Stanleys, but on deck when we get back from break will be Magic Treehouse number two, The Night at Dawn. So get a good look at the cover. It looks pretty great. 
Right. Ooh. That's right. All right. So stay tuned for that and we will see you on April 20th.